Hey guys, welcome to the UABE Sound Tutorial, a creator's insight to modding or experimenting with sound files within your game. If you haven't checked out my introduction to UABE, follow for a smoother experience. Make sure you do so. It will be linked in the top right corner. This is part two. Welcome to Asset Studio GUI. Download links are in the description. And if you need to slow down in this tutorial, pause it. Don't you worry, I'll wait up for you. First thing we need to do is load our game. In this instance, I'm using Boneworks VR, though this works with every Unity game. Once you're in that load menu, make sure you search for a set, not resource or rest. Messing with these files could cause corruption. You do not need to mess with the rest or resource files. Today, we are looking for assets. This is the tool we use to hear the sounds. What are we replacing? Here, you can check your necessary files, though we won't be covering that. In this section, if you know the sound name, search that file. In this list of audio clips, meshes, textures, so on and so forth, let's hope you have an idea. Just make sure you click type before you search. For this tutorial, I'll be making two different mods. When creating sounds, the first thing that comes to mind is what free application can I use? In every creator's mind, this is the go-to, though this is why I've created a list. If you don't see your favorites, mention them in the comments below. Anything I miss, mention it. Shake the house. Audacity. This is probably the easiest to get started with. Simplistic. For YouTubers, podcasts, this is what I used to use, and it's free. Soundbridge, another free application involved in being simple. For music, with no limitations, very easy to use for 32 and 64-bit downloads. Or the highly recommended DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, this might be a free video editing software, though it is packed. To export audio, all you have to do is click the export video button. Make sure that's unchecked. With items not found in paid programs, this might be the way to go especially if you're making a YouTube channel. You know? Regardless, it's a good tool to have. Moving on. Now that we've gotten down to par, find every sound file, select those, and export. Create a folder specific for your sound files because we'll need them for understanding which lines to record. In my instance, I'll do it on my separate time because there is a few. We're gonna have to replace every single line and yes, woe is me. Remember, when recording your sounds, make sure to clean them up as close as possible. This means cut the media just as soon as the sound starts. As the same, cut the tails from your sounds to leave your files as small as possible. Minimizing helps when making mods in great detail work in less lag, especially if you are to script. The sound package I'm creating for our player, I'll need to cut from the very start and cut the tails. If needed, Make sure to compress your sounds to get an equilibrium, lessening the dynamic range between the loudness and quietest parts of the audio signal. Now that we've recorded these said lines, as well as named every sound with a coexisting matched vanilla file, it's time to move on to Unity. So why did I create my sounds wave files in 7B3s? Well, I did this because wave files are easier in some circumstances to import. It is how it is. When in Unity, press new, create a new project. Now this may take a bit to load, depending on your PC specs. When loaded completely, select every wave and MP3 you have created in your custom folder after titling them to their original names and drag them onto the lower panel onto Unity. Let's go. Here, I'll take the same sound files, holding shift, and using the arrow keys to drop them onto the scene. No, this won't matter that the camera or the lighting is within the scene. They do not affect your sound. Choose File, select Build Settings. Here you see two options, Drop to Build. This gives us open to right, though as you can see, there are no fox given. Make sure the path points to your new Unity project. Select your creative folder. And as you can see, this is where your project begins its build. 
It may take a few minutes. When finished, if your scene has not opened, select file and then open the scene above. Here you'll find every file for your created game. You need nothing but the resource and asset. Though to do this, you need to open UABE, which all files needed are linked in the description below. Download Unity Asset Bundle Extractor and open the application. My tip to important files is to keep the list of WAV files in the background as a checklist. This helps me know what I've left to do. We we'll want to copy the address for we need the path to our newly shared assets. Revert back to UABE, select file, then open. Here we paste the address we copied to our Unity project pathing to our asset and resource files. Continue to shared assets zero dot assets. Click type, find audio, select your first audio. Hold shift and arrow down. We will now have to export every file so that it becomes, instead of an MP3 or wave into a text. To the radio application, select export dump when all audio is selected. The key is to be simple to have an understanding that all files should be part of one folder neatly. If you haven't already, make a new folder that will now hold the rest of the files in order to run your mod. Keep everything in subcategorized folders. This way, if you need to use something for, I suppose, later, you know where it is. Subcategories such as vanilla, custom, and dumps should be now added within your mod folder. Find and copy your dump folder's address. Return to UAB and paste the same address. Click enter and select the folder. Excellent. You have now created the dumps that you will need to import in your vanilla shared assets zero dot asset. So now we'll have to go back into our Unity project and customize the name of your new resource pack. You do not want to overwrite an existing resource pack within your vanilla files. Not at all. Make sure you find a name that best suits your mod and get ready to write as if you're in detention. Writing. I will not talk in class. <laughs> Copy your new resource style including dot resource. When messing with this main files, like in my case, you do not want to type for hours. Simple, efficiently. We will need the scripts, our text files, to path to our created resource and find each placement that points to the shared asset zero, that resource, to your new titled resource. Select the path and overwrite, like so. Four. Ah. Now that you've patched your files, open Unity Assets Bundle Extractor once more. We'll have to open the games .asset and import the created scripts. File, open, select shared assets .assets within your data directory, and wait till the dialog entries are prepared. The easiest way to search is to press name then type. If you select the title under categories, you can now type the name of your file or files, given you have a five second window to do this before it resets. Now you should see most, or if not all the clips, you need change. Copy the address path to your dumps. Do as I've done to keep your sanity. Keep the text files in the background as if you have a to-do list. Venture to the right of the application and select import dump. Paste in your path to the address bar and select your file or files independently. Correct. This is our last steps for UABE. Continue until you're finished. Three and 34. All right. Now that we're finished importing everything, Sort by modified and continue to the top of the list, as well as find every file that you needed to replace has a check within mod. Select save, keep it titled at exactly what the data provides. Even if there is more than one file it gives you, you cannot and should not save your new assets to the directory of the game. Revert the path to your mod folder you've organized. In this video, you get all the tips, so I would highly endorse you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Press OK like it's no big deal. You know? All that needs to be done 
is to move our resource back into our modified folder to complete our work. Whatever that modified folder may be titled, locate your Unity project and copy your dot resource back into your customized folder. Then paste. Well done. Now, all that needs to be done is to find your game's directory. Copy the vanilla assets file or files, just in case, you know. This, like any asset modification, breaks when said game is updated by the developers. So subscribe to make sure you have me listed when that update does occur. Add a new folder, title that vanilla. Open that folder and paste your dot asset. Damn, doesn't that thing look boring? Copy your custom dot resource and modify dot asset and paste them into your games folder, overriding your vanilla asset. And that's it. Now that we're completely finished and you've completely followed my step-by-step -step tutorial, I hope this has given some of you, if not all of you, a better insight and grasp onto Mahdi. What we can do as a community, because in the end, that's all that matters. Thanks for staying tuned throughout the whole video. Subscribe and like for more tutorials and VR content, roleplay, horror stories, and even visual novel games. I bid thee farewell. Adios muchachos, and memento more.